So the day is February 21st, 2024. The time is 6 10 a.m. And I kind of want to make this video just since it's going to be so fresh in my mind because I think that I'm going to be thinking about it all day long. In all the years that I've had dreams that I have wondered whether or not they are from God or have talked about Jesus coming back in my dreams, never once have I ever, like, spoke, heard, or seen a specific timeline. I've had dreams about seeing the world prepare for the Antichrist and being in, like, a cathedral-type setting and seeing the royal purple and red colors and stuff like that and talking to someone and asking if they were preparing for their king and talking about how if Jesus had already come back to rapture his church and I've had dreams about seeing thousands of angels come down and turning around and telling people that they need to repent now because Jesus is on his way and he's coming soon. I've had dreams about being in almost like a, one of them, like Costco or Sam's Club or one of those big wholesale um, stores where the ceilings go all the way up and it's like the metal exposed roof and stuff like that. And being there with my mother-in-law, my husband, a few other family members and just hearing the sound of trumpets and thinking that Jesus is here and immediately waking up. I've had all sorts of dreams. And those are just a few just to like simplify the things that I've, I've seen. But I can honestly say that I have never once had a dream where I have specifically thought of a timeline, time of year. Like I, I know that there's been people out there that have been like, oh, I've had dreams that Jesus said he's coming back this year. Or, you know, it was spring, or the setting was summer, or there was snow on the ground. I've never had those dreams before. And I know that when it comes with those dreams, we've got to consider that the world is huge. There's some parts of the world that will have snow the same day as the other side of the world will have hot summer heat or fall-like conditions or spring-like conditions because there's times and seasons for each part of the world. But the dream that I had last night was something strange because when it started out, I knew that I was not me. I knew that in my dream, I was portraying a different person, almost seeing it from their point of view. And I was at this like building and I was talking to so sorry. I am still waking up. I woke up 45 minutes ago and I am just been non-stop thinking about this dream. And I was like, I just need to make up a video so that, you know, I can think on it. I can pray on it. And maybe later on I can release it on my channel for YouTube. But anyway, I knew that I was not me. I have no idea who I was. Um, or who I was I was in my dream at least and I see these two celebrities and one of them I recognize he's the guy who played um that colon person the Edward off of that Twilight movie and then I didn't recognize I could not tell you who the name of the second person was um he looked familiar but I don't know who he was and, um, we were at this big party, and I, I don't even know how the subject came to be, but I leaned in to both of them, and I said, hey, is the Illuminati real? And the one guy who didn't play the Cullen character, um, we'll, we'll call this, the guy, I don't, I don't know whose name was. Um, he almost looked like the dude that played, um, the Black Panther in the Black Panther movie. 
but it wasn't the same guy. It was completely different. Like, he looked very familiar in that movie area. But I was talking to him, we'll just call him the Black Panther guy, because I think that he might have been in that movie, but I don't know his name or which character he played. Um, but I leaned into him and I said, hey, is the Illuminati real? And he responds, like, very, like, seriously. He goes, yeah, and I'm in it. We're in it. Talking about him and the other guy. And um, I said, oh. Oh, okay. And so I sat there for a second, and I said, well, can I talk to you for a minute? You know, so that it's just us and nobody else can hear? I was like, I want to ask a question. A lot of the time, I would imagine that if something like that happened in real life, maybe they wouldn't admit to being a part of this group. Um, I think that if they knew that you were a part of the group, because I believe that it's a true, real group. I think that it's a secret society. And I don't think that they're anything good. And so we walk into this room, and it's just me and this Black Panther guy, and I suddenly, I'm not the person I was anymore. I am now physically me, being me. And... I told him, I said, you know, because people in the Illuminati, I was like, do they talk about Jesus returning and coming back? I was like, is that something that gets talked about at all? I was like, because I mean, if most of you guys sold your soul and you're working for the bad guy, it's like, that might be something that you guys have to hear about every once in a while. I was like, because, I mean, there's people to influence out in the world. And he just simply tells me, yes, they do acknowledge about when Jesus is coming back. And then it was almost as if it wasn't like a question. I made a definite statement to this person. And I said, you know, Jesus is coming back this year. It's not too late for you to repent. And I was like, Jesus wants you in the kingdom with him. And I was like, he loves you. And I was like, there's not a doubt in my mind that he doesn't love you. And this kid, this guy, looks so remorseful. But he didn't say anything. And I don't think he, that he could say anything. Because, I mean, he admitted he sold his soul. And he was part of the Illuminati and stuff like that. And I told him, I was like, you know, Jesus' blood is sufficient to cover all sins. It's like, and all you have to do is just repent. So change your mind. I was like, that's what repentance is. Change your mind. Go from unbelief to belief in Jesus and what he's done and who he is. I was like, Cause he died on that cross for your sins and my sins. I said, you know, it's not too late. Jesus is coming back this year. And I was like, you got to make that change. And I turned and I looked at the wall that was behind me and it wasn't his room. I have no idea whose room we are standing in. And I see these big leather black Bibles on the wall. And I said, see? I said, even this person's got a bunch of Bibles. And he goes, those ones aren't real. I said, well, what do you mean they're not real? They say Bible on them. They say Holy Bible. I didn't see no crosses on them. Don't get me wrong. I didn't see the crosses on them. I just seen where they said Holy Bible. But at the very bottom... Like, there was this word, and I can't, I don't know if I'm not allowed to remember what it was, or what. I know it started with an R. I cannot remember the word. It was, you know, a little bit longer. But every single one of them, when I took a glance at them, said it. And he told me, those aren't real. Because they're this specific type of Bible. They're not really, like, God's word that they've been changed. They've been manipulated. And I wish that I could remember what Bible it was. It wasn't a King James. I know that for sure. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't a normal one that I normally see. Like it was almost different. And like I sat this morning before I came to work, and I started looking up all different types of like I don't know Bibles that maybe the like, the Illuminati um, use or you know those groups and stuff like that. And I couldn't find anything that looked fam like similar to it. But as I'm talking to him, I said, but you know, Jesus is coming back and he wants you to go with him. 
And it's almost like this person has decided that he can no longer be in the conversation. That he can, can't talk to me anymore. And next thing I know, he starts putting his feet and torso and the rest of his body. And he starts morphing through the wall going backwards and the entire time the look on his face was like he was full of remorse like he knew he made a mistake but for him he thought it was just too late and I had this overwhelming feeling of like I was surrounded by evil and I needed to get out of there and so as I'm leaving I hear my name get called out and I'm trying to get out of there and I turn and I look at this person and she goes hey you're forgetting your coffee cup and like I don't know if, like, they were trying to get my attention or what, or if they're making sure to use my name. I don't know what the reasoning for that was. So I walk over, I grab it, and I leave. I get into a car, and I start heading home. And suddenly, the scene goes from what I don't recognize to what I do recognize of, you know, my normal drive home. And I start noticing that all these cars on the road don't have any lights on and I'm sitting there looking in my rear view and stuff and next thing I know I get in front of the cemetery and this big black almost like it was like a big black lab shadow and I don't think it was a dog because it had no features everything was dark nobody had their headlights on on their cars to drive in anywhere so no headlights no taillights all of a sudden this big black shadowy dog looking thing runs out in front of me and I swerve to miss it and I was sitting there thinking to myself that wasn't a dog I don't know exactly what that was but that was not a dog and the moment I swerved around that and I tried to correct my vehicle I almost slammed it in the back of another vehicle that had no lights on it and I swerved away from that to not hit that and then I like my alarm clock went off and it woke me up and I was sitting there thinking I was like you know that was an attack right then and there like I had a conversation with something and I don't even know what the dream was to be from interpreted but I have never once had a dream I've seen other people me personally I've never had a dream where I was definite in making a statement not a question not a like a thought process like I made a statement Jesus is coming back this year and I could be wrong you know the Bible says that nobody really knows like the exact day and hour um it doesn't really necessarily say anything about the year from everything that I've read so maybe that's something that some point in time God would tell us and I know that the calendars are all confused and they're not normal on how they're supposed to be so maybe that means that we're still in one specific year and not in another so it could be who knows the reason for it but I just wanted to make this video right now so that you know as I pray on it and talk with God maybe he can lead me whether or not I should be posting this so that's why I made sure to put the time and the date and stuff like that um whether or not anyone wants to believe me that's okay. I'm not here to convince you. I just want to explain what I've seen and what I experienced. So I pray that you have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Goodbye.